Joining us is former CDC director, Dr. Tom Frieden. He is president and CEO of the initiative Resolve to Save Lives, which works to prevent epidemics. Dr. Frieden, good morning. Thanks for joining us. I want to get straight to an article you recently uh, wrote where you talk about how to reopen safely, and you reference immunity passports. Explain what that is and how it would work. Well, we don't know if this is going to happen, Jerika, but fundamentally what we're seeing is companies, countries, other places giving people some certificate of vaccination. With a certificate, people might be able to travel or enter certain places more freely. The risk of this is that it will make inequality even worse. If people have both more uh, susceptibility to the virus and less access to the vaccine, they'll have even more problems. But done right, immunity passports could be one of a series of things that could help us get to a new normal as soon as possible. But fundamentally, we're facing a very difficult few weeks and few months. There's not enough vaccine yet, and we're seeing the highest levels of cases, hospitalizations, and deaths the U.S. has since the start of this pandemic. And recognizing how it could be controversial, these immunity passports, uh, you say that there should be certain standards. What do you see those standards as being for this to be effective? First off, absolute privacy, no ability of people to use that data for anything else. Second, absolutely opt in. You don't want one, you don't have to get one. And third, complete transparency about how they're being used so that there are no surprises anywhere. But what worries me most right now is that Congress get money out to states and cities and counties to get the vaccine into people's arms. It's a great accomplishment that we have two highly effective vaccines, but money to deliver that vaccine, money to engage communities, money to provide pharmacists and nurses and doctors and health departments with the wherewithal to actually reach out to people and make sure they get vaccinated, that's stuck in Congress. Unless that money gets out, uh, we're going to have an even more deadly winter. As you're watching these developments and with all of your experience, are you satisfied with the vaccine rollout thus far? I'm really impressed that we've seen the kind of effectiveness. Um, no one would have expected 90 plus percent effectiveness in less than a year from multiple vaccines. That's partly because our bodies do a good job fighting the virus as well. But we're not there yet. The vaccines aren't here. It's going to be months before most of us get vaccinated. And in that time, we have to double down on protection protocols, wear a mask, avoid indoor space with other people, uh, increase ventilation, and as soon as it your turn get vaccinated you have 18 million americans that have recovered that are documented as recovering from covid 19 infections but yet we still hear time and time again we're learning a lot about covid 19 and even this new variant do you have any sense of when scientists will know how long that immunity that natural immunity will last this is one of the things that we need to learn as quickly as possible. I wish we knew more today. There, there is preliminary evidence that suggests that there may be protection for as long as six months or more, but it's really only as time passes that we'll know how long the protection lasts because there's no perfect blood test to figure out if you're immune to this virus yet. We hope that kind of a blood test could be developed. All right, Dr. Tom Frieden, we really appreciate your time. Thank you.